Well, hello, children. It's time for another story from Taylor's Bible Story Book. And I'm here at my computer, and where I look at this picture of Jesus, and I'm reminded of, of a song that says, if you look at all the little children in this picture with Jesus, there's a song that says, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. So whether you're red or yellow, black and white, children, Jesus loves you. So let's look at another story today. And we uh, are going to do story number 31, Pharaoh Won't Listen. The Lord told Moses' brother Aaron to go and meet Moses at Mount Horeb. And when he got there, Moses told him all about everything that had happened to him and what God had said for him to do. Moses and Aaron went together to Egypt and talked with the Israeli leaders and showed him the two miracles. He threw down his shepherd's rod and it became a snake. Then he put his hand into his coat and it became right, white with leprosy. When the leaders saw these two miracles, they believed that God had sent Moses and Aaron and that Moses was to lead them out of Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh and told him, The Lord God of Israel says, Let my people leave Egypt and worship me in the desert. Huh, Pharaoh scoffed. Who is the Lord and why should I obey him? I've never heard of that God, and I certainly won't let those Israeli people out of my sight. Moses and Aaron begged Pharaoh to let the people go. They said that God would punish Pharaoh if he didn't obey, but Pharaoh was angry. He asked Moses and Aaron what right they had to get the people all excited about going on a trip and keep them from doing their work. Stop this foolishness right now, he shouted. Get out of here and get to work. One of the jobs the Israeli slaves had was to dig clay and to make bricks by drying the clay in the sun. Uh, the clay was mixed with pieces of straw to make the bricks tougher and stronger. The straw was given to them by Pharaoh, but now Pharaoh was so angry that he said from now on they must get their own straw, and, and they still had to make just as many bricks as before. Pharaoh said that they were lazy, and that's why they wanted time to go and worship their God. So the people of Israel went out into the fields and gathered straw. But though they worked very hard, they could not make as many bricks as when the straw was brought to them. Some of the people were brutally beaten because of this. The leaders of the people of Israel told Pharaoh that he wasn't being fair. How could he expect them to make as many bricks now that they were not be being given the straw? He replied, you're lazy, you're lazy. That's what you say, let us go. Uh, that's why you say, let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. And he told them to get to work for no straw would be given to them anymore. Then the Israelis saw that they were in real trouble, and some of them went to Moses and Aaron and accused them of making things worse for them instead of better. Moses complained to the Lord about, about it and asked why he had sent him. He had only made things worse for the people, and now the Egyptians were more cruel than ever before. Just wait, the Lord told Moses, and you'll see what I'm going to do. Tell my people that I will rescue them from their slavery and that they will be my special people. I will lead them into the land I promised long ago to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob. Moses told the Israelis what God said, but they wouldn't listen to him anymore. Then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron to talk to Pharaoh again. When Pharaoh tells you, to do a miracle, throw your shepherd's rod on the ground, the Lord said, and it will change into a snake, just as it did before. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh, and Aaron threw down his rod, and sure enough, it changed into a snake. 
Then Pharaoh called for his magicians. They brought some shepherd's rods and threw them down, and their rods changed into snakes too. The Lord let the magicians do just as Aaron had done. But Aaron's snake swallowed up all the other snakes. Yet even so, Pharaoh would not let the people go. And that's the end of story number 31. And we join us again next time, little children. And we'll do another story from Taylor's Bible Storybook. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.